Hello everybody. Today we're gonna be uh, showing you guys how to do wheel bearings on our 2009 Toyota Tacoma. This is uh, the four wheel drive V6. And we're doing uh, the front wheel bearings. He's got noise when he's driving down the street, a lot of humming noise on it. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys here how to, not that big of a job, pretty straightforward. First of all, we're gonna start out with this cap here. This is pretty much the hardest part of the job. I don't know why they don't put a little indent in there to put a screwdriver and pop that guy out. But uh, what I ended up having to do is dent that in a little bit. So that way we can stick a screwdriver in here and pop this guy right out. And then uh, once we got it out, we'll straighten that out and then put it back in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, caliper out. We already did a brake job on this one, so everything is nice and easy to take out right now. Take out the bottom and top bolts on the caliper. Just leave this hanging over here so that way we don't put any stress stress on the brake hose so try to hang it up with whatever you got laying around we'll just put it in through the bolt hole in the caliper and just wrap it around somewhere here and that way nothing is stretched out over there Next, we're going to take out the rotor. We're going to replace the rotor with the new brakes on there. So we just want to hammer it out. If you are reusing the rotor, you probably want to get a plastic hammer. So that way you don't uh, damage the rotor. But this one, we don't need this one anymore. So we just want to hammer it. There that goes. We want to take out, we got to disconnect the axle, the front axle off of the bearing. And I first want to take out this big cotter pin, try to straighten that out a little bit. And then just yank it out off of this side. Take out this is a 36 for the axle nut. And that pops right out. And then this one's got four bolts that hold it to the knuckle. This one's really rusted out. These are supposed to be 17 millimeter bolts, so get yourself a 17 millimeter wrench. And this one looks like we got a work some of the rust off and get that in there nice and snug and then what I like to do is just give it a nice little whack up here just until you break that loose You want to do that to all four of them. It's a real tight place back there. Can't get much in there, so the wrench is about all you've got. 
they come off pretty easily. Give it a couple of wax before you loosen all of them up. Got all those loose if they come out by hand just take them out with your fingers as far as out as they can go otherwise if they're stuck in there you still got to wrench them out until they eventually you should come out pretty easy because it's not an open hole on the other side so there's no water getting in there to rust them out on the inside All the bolts are all the way out as far as they can go. And we're going to give us a, a few taps to get it loose off of the knuckle. A little bit on the bottom and the top. thing while we're here this is all rusted out over here so there's no point in putting this back on because it's just going to start making noises and rub against the rotor so once we get this out we'll fix that Eventually it'll give, but you gotta keep going at it. so you guys don't damage the threads on it. I like to just use a socket and just tap on the socket a little bit. back slowly. We want to make sure that one's completely free. 
so that way it's not hanging up the, the wheel bearing because that'll keep the wheel bearing from coming out. Start loosening up the rest of the bolts that are catching. Those are old bearing. Almost. If your dust shield is still good, you guys want to make sure that you put that in the same way that it comes out. This one has these little guides on it that'll help you guys put it back in the right place. But yeah. This one we're going to snip around, cut this off, we're still going to leave this so that way it's spaced the way that it was before. So this one, we're just gonna cut all the outside of it off so that way it doesn't get in the way of anything later on. We're just gonna keep this the clean part so that way it gives uh, the wheel bearing the space that it had before. You can see how that just disintegrates, it's so rusted up. All it is just trying to keep dust from the brake dust from getting in the back. Not a major function for them. We'll make sure the inside's clean, the axle's clean. You just want to clean this up a little bit. sanding paper and then the same thing on this one clean this up a little bit too
that's the two while you had it. stuff up so that way next time around it's not seized in there and comes out nice and easy. This is our new wheel bearing. This is an SKF unit, an original OEM. He's got the hub and the bearing assembly all together and comes with new bolts on it. I've got the Loctite on the thread so that way it doesn't wiggle around when it's in there. Also put a little bit of grease on the axle too so that way it slides in nice and smooth. And then don't forget your dust shield goes in first. Just mark it up, mark the pins up with the holes on the knuckle. Just put it there for reference for right now. So with the hub. What I noticed is the old wheel bearing has this O-ring around it to keep all the water from getting in there. This one doesn't look like it came with this, so just take that one, transfer that over on the new one. And then we're ready to put that in. Line up these bolts and just start hand tightening those one at a time. Be careful not to cross thread them. So just get all four of the bolts as much as you can with your fingers and then uh, we'll have to wrench them in the rest of the way. you go evenly across all the bolts so you don't tighten one all the way in leave the rest of them out so I'll tighten this one a little bit and go on the next one I like to go crisscross on them little by little until we get to the end
And this one looked like it just pushed right in. Once you get that lined up, and then go ahead and tighten all these by hand as much as you can. And snug all these in with the wrench then. After I got them nice and tight, what I like to do is put the box end in first. You get another wrench and go on the top here like that. You get one nice little extra snug on there. That we make sure it's nice and tight and it's not going to go anywhere. After that, we're going to put in uh, the axle nut on there. And just tighten that up until it's 
stops. Make sure you guys get that one at the specified torque, and then uh, after that, we'll put this back on there so that way the nut doesn't move out of place and stays uh, nice and solid in there. Get that down here. We just want to just want to bend that so it doesn't move out of place. And that's that. We're going to put on a new rotor on this one since we did the brakes on it. Otherwise, we just reuse the old rotor. And we want to make sure the thing is up with the brake cleaner and some other kind of solvent. Because these stay in oil and we don't want any oil on the new brakes. Got that cleaned up, put a new rotor on there for your old rotor. And now it's time for the caliper. Make sure your pads don't move, spread those out so that way it fits over the rotor. Line the holes up in the back and then stick the bolts right through them. your rotor stays in place otherwise you'll have a hard time lining the, the caliper up Close those bolts back in. So these are the bolts that I'm talking about on the caliper. Make sure you guys don't take out these over here because otherwise your caliper will start leaking because that's what holds the whole caliper together. But back here is where it's mounted onto the knuckle. And we'll put this up here back on. It's time to put on the cap. This is your last finishing touch to the job. So just hand that slightly, little by little, all the way around. So it's nice and flush. And that's 
Okay, guys, that's how you do wheel bearing assembly, the hub and the bearing on a 2009 Toyota Tacoma. Hope this guy, this uh, video helps you guys out. And you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time.